Hello everybody, Greg Steger here, your K12 Tech Guy, with a quick video to show you how to create hotspots on an image with PowerPoint. Now, I'm using PowerPoint 2013, but this will also work with earlier versions of PowerPoint, but some of the places that you click to go and do some of the steps may not be in the exact same place. I'm just going to show you the basic concept uh, of how to go about doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. And first thing we're going to need is a picture. So I'm going to choose to insert something from the web, and you can go about inserting anything that you like uh, from either your computer or, or someplace on the web yourself. Uh, I'm going to do a quick search for United States. And what we're going to do is pull up a map of the United States here uh, because the map has several different states and there's good reason for us to you know go to different locations with what we click on. Uh, here's one so let's go ahead and put this one into our PowerPoint and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger here so that we can see it better and so of course we've got the 50 states here and you know maybe I want to create a PowerPoint that has um, this particular map and whatever state I click on will take me to another slide in my presentation that talks about that state or maybe I want to have it link out to an external website that has some additional information about the state so um, what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to uh, create that hotspot on the image because if I put a link on this image I can only have one link on the image at a time so but I want to you know potentially have let's say 50 different links here to click on just with this one picture so what we're actually doing is creating a shape and we're assigning a link for that particular shape and uh, because these states don't match you know really any uh, of the shapes that are by default when I go to insert shapes I want to choose this icon right here and you see the tooltip there says free form and basically what that means is we're going to draw our own shape and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit so that it's a little bit bigger and easier to work with and I'm going to come right up here so we've got Wisconsin because I want folks to be able to click on Wisconsin and have it take them out to a website that has some additional information so I've got my freeform crosshairs up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start tracing the border of Wisconsin here I had to hold down my uh, mouse button and I'm just kinda tracing along here as best as I can with a mouse once I get all the way around here as I complete the shape because it'll have to be an enclosed shape uh, as I complete it it'll change color to let me know that I've made it all the way around there we go and then when I let go it will actually fill in uh, completely now now that I've got my Wisconsin selected I want to apply this website to the shape so I'm gonna right click on Wisconsin here and I get my little uh, context window pop up here and I'm going to choose hyperlink I'll get this little uh, box that pops up here and I want them to go out to a uh, web page so I want to make sure that existing file or web page is selected I'm going to select that and down here in the address I'm going to paste in that link to Wisconsin on the 50states.com website and I'm going to hit OK now the link is applied but it's applied just to this shape so that allows me then to create other shapes like this for the other states so that when folks click on that particular shape they can have a different link I don't actually put a link on the big giant map image I just put the links on the individual shapes that I create now I don't want this to stay blue because that just looks a little bit weird so what we need to do is remove the fill and remove the outline that we drew and uh, that way it just is invisible in uh, as far as folks can see so I'm gonna just come up and remove the shape fill say no fill and I'm gonna go to the outline and say no outline and now it just looks like it's not there but when we launch the full program go into presentation mode 
I'll be able to actually click on that particular image and it will take me out to the website. And again, this can be repeated now for any of these states. I can have multiple shapes on here. Uh, as you draw, you would want to be careful not to you know, overlap your shapes, uh, otherwise you might have a little bit of uh, trouble there. So it might be wise for you to perhaps draw just on the inside of the border. Um, it's probably not going to be too big of a problem, but just a word to the wise there. So just to uh, show that this works, uh, we're going to go to full screen uh, presentation mode with the PowerPoint, and you're only going to see this portion of it here. Uh, some of it will be cut off, but we're going to see uh, Wisconsin on the screen, and we'll show you that when we click on Wisconsin, it's going to open up my web browser and pull up that website for Wisconsin. So here we go. We go full screen. Here we've got Wisconsin at the top. And, you know, if I were to click anywhere else on the screen, because we didn't change any settings for uh, the clicking piece, it's just going to take me to the next slide, if you would. And because I don't have a next slide, it's actually going to end my my uh, PowerPoint. So uh, to show you that, I'm going to click somewhere over here on Nevada. And because we didn't set any links up over here, yep, we go black screen. It ended our... Um, presentation. So let's launch it full again and we'll actually go click on Wisconsin now and look at that. Here comes our Wisconsin website, that link that we put in there. So again you can repeat that same process for each of the other states and have a full interactive clickable map just using PowerPoint. And again you can set it up too so that you can just click to a different slide in your presentation as well and that's how it works so i hope that this was helpful for you thanks so much have an awesome day